Hi, I'm Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy. I'm Mark Ashton, M. Ashton1138. And today we're testing out the Kinex Pro Sight. Uh, we got two of these donated by uh, Amimon, thank you very much. Um, and we've got them installed in two different airplanes. Uh, what we're going to be doing is stretching the legs and see what this thing is capable of doing. Uh, this is set to 25 milliwatts, so no ham license needed, uh, using the stock antenna on the airplane and stock antennas on the receiver. Then, after we figure out where this goes, we've got a modified antenna that we're going to put on and uh, see how much further uh, a modified antenna can get on the pro site. And then from there, 200 milliwatts. 200 milliwatts. So same thing, except uh, 200 milliwatts is going on a different airplane. This one doesn't have an OSD and it doesn't have any flight stabilization or anything. This is my flying test rig. But if we're going to go stretch our legs out here, a little bit rural one a couple of redundant systems to help us a little bit short range won't be a problem so uh, with that first test uh, I will be flying on the standard link that I know and trust and I'm gonna fly out until this screen back here is completely gone he'll tell me when it's gone and then I'll come back land we will change out this antenna and see how much further we can go again I'm not gonna be flying HD because I intend to push this to where the HD will drop out so I'm just gonna be flying my analog link and he's going to be doing the same thing, except when he's going out, I'm also going to be monitoring signals when he's out there because, well, he's going to go a lot further than I am. Here we go. Oh, shit. I keep hitting this stupid tripod. Um, yeah, you're going the right way. Okay. Still holding? Holding, yeah. Getting low. I got one red bar. Huh? One red bar. One red bar. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Can you turn the camera on the road side? Yeah. Okay. Is it still holding, really? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of uh, pixelization, though. Not much. Still there? Yeah, it's still there. It's going. It's gone. All right, let's turn around. Back. All right. So. <clears throat> okay, so that was the flight bone stock. I'm shocked. Yeah, I'm impressed. Really well. So, really well. so now we've got the modified antenna uh, covered up because we're, we're, it's a little bit proprietary. But we're going to see how much further we can go. Honestly, I'm going to. This is still on FCC Part 15. I haven't even gone up to ham yet. So, right. And uh, we're not going to go ham until we switch over to Big Bird. I think we're so. going to be going a little further than we bargained for. A so. lot further, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. I might, I might have to step up from 3,300 milliamps to 66. Yeah, you might have to run two batteries. So uh, let's see with the distance antenna. Going back out with the Spectre. We'll see what she does. Flight number two, yeah. long range antenna. Yeah, a little to your left. Just a little bit. Yeah. Hey, you're going too far to the left. Too far to the left? Are you going to the right? Yeah. Still got really good video. Well, let's get back to where the uh, thing dropped out before. All right, you see the power lines? Okay, we're starting to get some, a little bit of pixelization. Well, it dropped out here before. Yeah. I got two bars of signal versus the one though. Still? Yeah. Looks like I got the right of way out to the right. The Come back to your left. To my left? Yeah. Alright. Well, I got some field out here. 
Alright. Keep coming back to your left though. I think you're still getting outside that beam there. Looking at looking at the mountains versus what you're seeing. Oh yeah, I see. I see now. Okay. Got some pixelization. Um, still got video. Uh, down to one bar. Pixelization. It's getting real weak. I think you're it's there, it's still there. All right. right. Yeah, you're still you're still good. I mean, yeah, it's it's going. I mean, you're at the edge. I think you still have video, but it keeps kind of freezing the screen. It's gone. Up, right. well, we oh, back. So you might have actually flown out of the beam. Huh? You may have actually flown out of the beam. Yeah. All right, you're over the cul-de-sac. Dude, you were way out of the freaking beam. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. How's my battery bolt? It says 8-2. I don't think that's right. That can't be right. No, that is right. That's my battery dying right there. Okay. So I didn't charge this battery, so, uh, hey. That's full throttle. Right the Whew, nose heavy, man. Jeez. There's a hill there. Uh, no choice. <laughs> I didn't charge that battery apparently. <laughs> okay, so I would call the uh, FCC Part 15 a success. Yeah. That blew my, that knocked my socks off. It was awesome. So uh, obviously we need a bigger plane than the Spectre to carry to the end of this. So now we're up to ham band. So we're 200 milliwatts. Uh, but again, back to the stock antennas, and of course we got a much bigger airplane here. So uh, this one's got a, a vector in it and some uh, more redundant systems because we're going to find ourselves a lot further out. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. We're I think we're going to find ourselves out there really far. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping so. All right. Well, let's see. All right. You're out. All right. There's Mark flying off across here. Let's take a look at our HD feed. Ooh. What? Still there. I was saying HD feed got weak for a second, but it's back. Pixelization gone. You are gone. I'm gone. Yeah, nothing. It, it is tripped out. All right. Yeah, it is gone. So make your way back. What's your uh, distance here? Uh, I don't remember where it is. On this <laughs> I got great coordinates there. All right. And it's back. All right, well, Mark's setting up for another run. I'm going to finish connecting this antenna. He's going to loiter around. That was pretty impressive, but honestly, I figured it'd make it further considering we just did 25 milliwatts and we're eight times signal strength. So uh, let's see if I can get this thing hooked in. Mark, you can go make your, make your run. I got one more antenna to connect. So, and you are on the right path, so we are in beam. Where am I at right now? Right over us, directly over almost us. over us. Near. Okay. We'd be at your seven o'clock now, or not seven? Yeah, seven o'clock. So Going behind us? No, you're in front of us. You know, I'm saying seven. We are. You are. We are now at six o'clock. We are now at six. So you want to come a little bit to your left?
climb out a little bit. Yep. My link is rock solid, dude. Yeah, I know. I was I, on lefty. I even had you. Yeah. Lefty. So had you. Oops. Even on the ground here, I had you on lefty. All right. And you're on mad mushrooms. So that's that'll tell me how much you got. I've still got you solid. All right. Trajectory is perfect. Starting to get a little bit of pixelation here. A little bit, but not bad. Still definitely flyable. I like the fact that we get a warning on this one. Yeah. There's the field. That's the field I made it to on uh, standard def, or on uh, FCC right there on your right. Although I gotta say, I don't think it's gonna go much further. Uh, we only got one red bar. We're on the exact same path. We'll see. Oh, Keep going. Getting weak. Getting weak? Weak signal? You, you, believe it or not, you still have HD. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. There we go. Where's that pine? Nowhere near you. We're out. HD, nope, uh, I came back, but I'd say push a little bit further. Right, Plane is six, probably 6,000 feet. You're, you're clear. You are clear. Keep going a little bit further. The HD is still there, just not good. Um, believe it or not, I still have you on my crosshair. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I have you solid. Then I'm out of the beam or something because I don't have solid. It's there, but it's just two miles. Is that where you are now? Yep. Keep going. Believe it. And the HD went out. That's it. Nope, then it's back, but I wouldn't call it. Yeah, it's, it's usable. It's, it's, it's blipping in and out. 2.2 miles, I got my signal back. It's still there. 2.4. 2.5. 2 Keep going. Believe it or not, the HD is still there. It's about to drop. The HD has just dropped. Let's turn it around and come on back. 6. All right, so you're turning around, coming back. I see. Yep. And hey, we got it back. What's your distance? Two point one. No. Two. What's that? Two point five. It's on its way back. Two point five miles. Not bad. Yeah, that's where we lost it. That's where we lost five. it. I wouldn't consider it usable. Let's see where it comes to be usable. Actually, now I'd consider it usable. Two point four. Two point four. I just want to see what it looks like. Yeah, go ahead, fly on it. <laughs> it's perfectly flyable. Well, I got it in return to home. I just threw it in return to home. Just oh. to... Yeah, taking the view, watch it. She's coming back. I mean, she's out there. Yeah, there's the lake to the right. Yep. Can I be honest, though? Huh? As pretty as that picture is at the same range, Yeah. my 1.3 link is better. Okay. I mean, it looks just as good. I can see everything that this thing sees. Yeah. And it's on HQ. Right. I mean, where's that point? Airplane is 2,000 feet. You are below 2,000 feet. I'm at 400. So. Yeah, you're low. We got him. <laughs> he's flying, he's flying patterns. So we're good. We got a while to go get back here, though. Dude, even my 1.3 link is. 4,500 feet. Yeah. I am getting crap from the uh, easy UHF though. Yeah. I'm, I'm in. I'll tell you what, now that you're closer, this looks a lot better than it did at distance. At distance, it was nowhere near this clean. Oh yeah? Yeah, I couldn't have told the, di I, now it, it's truly HD. So uh, it just drops water. quality as you get out there. Um, 
I you're just, over us. I would, I would land. Yeah, I'm in loiter right this second. Yeah, I take a look at this. Well, you got an in loiter. Take a look at this. That's better than what we were seeing. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks good. It looks I mean, good. like I said, I mean, I'm not knocking the system at all. I mean, it does look incredible. Um, but honestly, I mean, a properly set up analog system. Yeah. Will I mean? Will do the work. Yeah. Well, uh, you won't quite get that quality, but it's close. I mean, yeah. Well, let's get honestly, it. Honestly, this is gonna sound crazy to people. They're gonna be shocked by it as well. But this is really the first, only like the second or third time I've used the uh, the Dominator V3s. I'm pretty impressed with them as well. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. You're you're still too high. Well, unless you want to go, come come in fast. Over here. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I think you're landing in your yard. I was Almost. going to, but there's a, <laughs> there's a barrier of trees that run between my yard and this lot right here. So yeah. I think I better go ahead okay. and cut it down. So, so overall, um, believe it or not, before I got this system, uh, Jonathan from Amimon had uh, challenged me. He said his record was 3.9 kilometers. Well, Jonathan, we just did 4.1. So your turn. And for the rest of you, we're impressed. So uh, overall, nice exceeded my expectations um the only thing was is you know as you got out there the hd just wasn't quite hd so jonathan you've got a record to beat and for the rest of you keep them flying really once you got out there the analog link was was just as good well i think for racing yeah, for close um, if we can come up with something that's not giving them an issue with the carbon fiber, but, like a little bit better antenna. But we also have this other problem. Um, you know, it, that isn't that far. And we're on a foam airplane, too. Right. I mean, it's perfectly, R it, I mean, that is the best RF environment. So, I mean, a quad's going to reflect it. So, chances are they're not going to have that HQ link on a mini quad, even in a race. Yeah. So, we ought to probably look at making that thing so it can cover a racetrack. Right. So, they're H you know, they're high quality. They got that sharp image the whole way yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. We ought to, we ought, really ought to do that. Right. But not bad, man. Not, no, it, not it was, bad. It was definitely impressive. Um, I, I, by, by no stretch of the imagination, am I disappointed with the system? No. You know, no, it, it, it definitely, um, it delivered. Yeah. Uh, pretty much on what they said it would. Hey, uh, the we, only, beat the we beat the connects. We beat the regular, regular connects. But it's range limited, um, and there's a ton of lag. Now, the next thing I'm going to do. Um, I want to fly this thing. We'll set up another day and I'm going to actually fly straight off the HD link. Okay. Because I want to see what kind of lag we actually, if I can feel that lag. I couldn't, but yeah, I mean, go for it. I couldn't feel any lag. I was, I was really impressed. Yeah. I, I certainly couldn't feel any lag. You know, that was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, well, where's my radio? I don't know. Here are your goggles. Yeah, radio's right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So pretty good. I, I, I was wondering how that would go. Honestly, the the, the 25 milliwatt blew my, knocked my socks off. That absolutely destroyed my expectations. Yeah. Oh, I mean, like I said, they they definitely got something going here. Oh yeah. Um, they definitely do. They've got some refinement issues that they need to figure out. Yeah. Um, they're minor. But 